Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could make it for another planner video. Today, I am going to be unboxing my Simply Gilded subscription box that I recently signed up for. I'm really excited to join the Simply Gilded family, the Simply Gilded community. Simply Gilded is a company I've had my eye on for a while now and I was just looking at their products lately and I just could not resist signing up for a subscription box service. So I'm going to be unboxing their latest subscription box. This one is the Here Comes the Sun subscription um, box that is their latest themed box. So if you're interested in seeing me unbox this Simply Gilded uh, paper crafting stationery subscription box, um, just keep on watching. So before we jump into the unboxing and the video, definitely let me know if you have used Simply Gilded products before and if so what was your experience with them um, how did you like them are there any things that you don't like about them uh, let your girl know in the comments down below i would really like to know because this is the first time these are the first simply gilded products i am going to unbox and try out i've had my eye on the company and their products for a while now because i really enjoy their aesthetic i'm always a sucker for that princess dainty cutesy aesthetic um it's just my style i love the bright light colors um the cutesy symbols and everything it's simply up my alley so um particularly their washi tape i've been probably the most intrigued by their washi tape and i think they're the most known for their washi tape uh, i'm not so sure on that again i'm not very familiar with the company i don't know their mo i don't know their story who founded it i just know their aesthetic i briefly browsed their website i picked up um, one product off of their website that was from their new spring release and then i signed up for the subscription box so this is going to be kind of a two-in-one I did uh, you know, pick up a product that doesn't come in their subscription box, but everything else in this box besides what I picked up um, outside of the subscription box comes in their subscription boxes. And their subscription box is $30 a month, which is a pretty penny, but I'm willing to try it out for a couple months to see how I like it. So let's just get into it. So I'm gonna share with you uh, the, the item I picked up that's not in the subscription box. This was, I was so, so intrigued by these uh, washi tapes. Um, these are really simple washi tapes. They're pastel washi tapes with these gold dots on them. We have all the classic spring colors and I've been wanting these minimal type um, of washi tapes for a while now. I always use pastels. Pastels are my go-to. I love bright, whimsical colors. I've always been a pastel lover. And so I saw this stack of washi tapes um, in, the, in this beautiful rainbow of pastels and with the cute little like gold dot accents. I thought these were gonna be perfect for spring in any of my spreads because I use the, this color palette and this color story so much that I knew that I could pull these into any of my spreads even if it wasn't spring. And I've just been on the hunt for kind of minimal washi. Like I don't want it to have, you know, a really complex pattern on it. I just want it to be really nice and simple and bright that I can layer with other washies, layer with stickers, and um, have it be more of an accent piece as opposed to like a standalone, standout washi piece. So picked that set up, love it so much. And it also came with these two uh, things. Uh, we have a, a, sh a sheet of stickers here. These are the Simply Gilded, like their classic company bows. We have eight of them in this beautiful pastel and foil um, design. And they're kind of reminiscent of the washi tapes. They have the little dots on them as well. So very cute. I can definitely use these um, in, 
you know, stickering spreads and such. And they also gave us this card, which is a nice cardstock. It has a beautiful gold foil bow and then this beautiful rainbow pastel grid on it. Um, you can use these for a number of things. You could use it as a postcard, you could use it in your planner, you could use it as a bookmark. I honestly will probably use these as bookmarks uh, because I'm a huge reader and I'm always looking for bookmarks. So I'll probably use this as a bookmark. I might stick her on the back and personalize it, but this is a nice little, you know, addition that they gave us. And that is the only thing that I picked up, you know, outside of the subscription box. So I'm really happy that I got that. They did package it inside the box itself, which I don't mind at all. I was wondering if they were going to send me two different boxes because um, I did order a subscription box alongside like a regular, you know, product. But they just packaged everything together, which was perfect. And... Um, he also gave me an invoice here. I'm not going to open this up. It has my information in there, but he gave me an invoice. And then here we have the meat of the subscription box. They give us another one of these cardstock cards. And this one, the theme of this box, every box has a theme. The theme of this box is on the cardstock. It's Here Comes the Sun. And you can definitely see that the theme is this bright, whimsical pastels. Um, and sunshine and the give you this little box here with a rainbow on the back and i adore this design with the pastel rainbow it makes me so happy and we have the washi tapes in here and i probably want to save the boxes i don't know what i would use these boxes for but they're so gorgeous that I kind of want to save them. I might put stickers in here. I might, I don't know. I kind of want to save the box. It's so cute. So let me see if I can find a use for that box. Okay. And we have, uh, let's see how many, we have six washi tapes here. And uh, I honestly, like I bought the entire box for this washi tape right here. I mean, everything else is beautiful, but I saw this washi tape and I was sold. I knew that I really wanted this washi tape when I saw it. It's this gorgeous, whimsical blue washi tape with this pattern of a pastel rainbow on it, um, alternating with these gold foil bows. This is gonna look so cute in so many spreads. We have another washi tape here that is, um, it's a bit of a, it has a funky edge. It doesn't have that straight edge that most washi tapes have. It has a bit of like a scalloped edge there. And this one's cute. It's flowers, but with like a little bear in the middle of the flower. Again, I love pastels. So I can definitely see myself getting good use out of this one. And this one seems a little bit transparent. Like it's not super opaque which um, is nice. Sometimes I want a little bit more of a transparent washi to layer with. And then here we have another subtle washi tape. It has florals on it and little birds. There's a little bit of gold foil on it. I do like some of these more like muted washi tapes. For me, this is kind of a muted washi tape as compared to something like this, which is the design is a little bit more bold. But sometimes I really enjoy like more muted washi tapes because they're so much easier to like layer things with. Whereas something like this, I feel like it's more of a standout washi tape. I almost always uh, don't like use really long stretches of bold washi tape like this because I feel like it can overwhelm a page. So I'll just do little accents of a really bold washi like this. And then we have this one which I think it's two washies in one. Let me see, let me, let me open this right now. I, I almost wanna say that this is two washies. Yep, yes, okay, yes. Okay, Simply Gilded. So I really like that they included, you know, various sizes. So we have two thinner washies here. I like that they package them together to save on materials, but oh, I really like thin accent washi like this. Um, sometimes like the thicker ones are a little bit too overwhelming on a spread and you just want a pop of washi. So really happy they gave us these two more accent washies. I really like this one that has, you know, that duo, um, 
that <gasps> wait don't tell me that okay no never mind okay for a second i thought these were gonna be like two even thinner rolls in one but no this is just one washi roll it just has that really cool design that half of it is gold and half of it is that nice peach this one has little suns on it very cute perfect and then the last one that we have here is um wow i think this one's a glitter one here let me pop it open actually Okay, yeah, this is a glitter washi. That's really cool. I don't really use uh, glitter washi that much. Um, I just don't buy it that much because I don't see it that often. So yeah, it has a really nice subtle yellow glitter to it. It's glitter washi, really cute, really adorable. Um, it has little flower and heart uh, motifs alongside it. I like how it's subtle. Um, it's not like an in-your-face glitter, so I like that because, again, it's really easy to get overwhelmed with bold washi choices, uh, especially since you're tempted to always use a lot of washi. And, like, I, when I first started paper crafting, I would always, like, use, like, a foot of washi every single spread, and it took me a long time to, like, get the self-control to only use, like, an inch or two inches at a time. And I feel like when you start to really, like, understand how to balance out spreads and to paper craft and to create you know a nice flow throughout your um your spread your planner spread your sticker spread uh when you really start to get the hang of that you realize you don't have to use so much washi although you're like always tempted to use like a foot of it oh my goodness so actually let me go ahead and just uh open up all these washies and maybe I can even swatch some of the swashy here so you can see how it looks on the paper. So he, I'm just going to grab my brain dump notebook here and um, just put a little bit on the page so you can see what it looks like here. Ooh, I like it. I like how it's kind of transparent. Again, like sometimes really opaque washi um, is a little bit too overwhelming. So there's that really gorgeous rainbow washi there. And now we have the chicks washi. Gorgeous. I love it already. Again, pretty subtle. That gold foil is subtle. Let's start with this one here. Ooh, this one's super bold. You can see, you can see how opaque this washi is. So it's not like Simply Gilded doesn't know how to give us a bold washi tape. It can, just look at this one, but sometimes subtle is better. Here's that glitter washi. This one's a little bit hard to um, cut. You might wanna use scissors for that one. Let's go with this uh, thinner washi here. Ooh, I love this one. It's a very beautiful egg yellow. This is like an egg yolk yellow here. Let's pull for this cool like striped washi. Gorgeous. This one's gonna be a beautiful accent washi. And then the scalloped bare flower washi. Let me pull for it. Oh, this one's a little bit hard too. It's It kind of tears a little bit. Oh, yeah, it tears very easily. It's, you're gonna have to be careful with this one. I've noticed that with um, with these more like scalloped edge washies where there's a bit of that, you know, there's like a bit of a pattern. It's not just a traditional like rectangular cut washi. There's a bit of that like, you know, scalloped edging there. These types of washies, they tear a lot easier. So there we have uh, a washi swatching of all of our Here Comes the Sun washies. Beautiful, gorgeous, I love it. Like, I'm so happy already. And I feel like with just the washies themselves, you get the value of the box because I think the washi goes for like $6. Um, on their website alone so with this pack of seven washies 
you would be paying like $42 maybe, maybe a little bit less just for the thinner ones. Um, but the whole box is $30, so there's that. And then we have this gorgeous pen. It has a little sun motif there at the bottom. And I like that it uh, has a little ball at the very tip that tells you that no one has ever written with this pen before. So let me just uh, write with it. Oh yeah, that is a beautiful pen. Oh my goodness, it writes really well. It just glides onto the page. Um, there's not that much information on here. I would say it's a classic like 0.45 millimeter pen, not too thick, not too thin. So this is definitely gonna be a favorite of mine. Oh my goodness, a really high quality pen. I'm very happy with that. And then the last thing that we get in the box um, is a little uh, stack of stickers. So they come in this nice uh, little plastic wrapping here and let's pull it out so we have um a sticker sheet here we have uh let's see oh okay um so it seems like we have nine like full box stickers they're not a, they're a little bit smaller and shorter than the happy planner full boxes but i think it's a similar idea there and then we have a few stickers here at the bottom that are like uh i would say like quarter like a little bit smaller than quarter box size so we have that we have some weekday stickers we have three sets of those we have four boxes and um a couple of title stickers here meeting important goals pretty standard planner stickers some checklists uh, more checklists I actually don't really enjoy this type of sticker, like the long checklist. I don't really see the point in them. I don't really use them that well. I feel like they're too, sh they're, they're, I don't really use tall stickers like that. Like I don't feel like I can write that much in them. It would make sense if I was writing in Japanese and lang the language like reads up and down. But when you're writing in English or Spanish and the language is, you know, going horizontally, vertical boxes like this I don't really tend to write in I guess you can just use them to mark something and write next to them but I prefer to write in them so that's one thing I don't really tend to use these too much and we just have some deco stickers uh, these are really cute we have some functional stickers um, some like credit cards cleaning stickers so I can definitely use those and then we have another sticker sheet. This one's just a bunch of quarter boxes, um, some functional stickers there, more checklists. And yeah, I think these are, what, what size are these here? Okay, wow, so these are like header stickers. They're really, really thin. And again, I probably like, these stickers aren't my favorite. They're a little too thin but I can definitely use them. And we just have an extra page of deco stickers. And that is it. That's everything in the Here Comes the Sun Simply Gilded subscription box. Oh, and I forgot this little guy here. This is just date numbers. Always can use date numbers, so that's nice. I love it. I love it so much. I mean, I'm happy with just the washi, so the stickers are an added bonus. The pen is an added bonus. I love it so much. I can't wait to get into this. I'm really excited to be part of the Simply Gilded subscription service. I think that I'm really going to enjoy the subscription. So I'm looking forward to playing around with these goodies, getting them into my planner. It's going to really like make my planner pop for spring. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!